Hi everyone. Welcome to the good news for families for Sunday, January 24th. Today, the good news is that Jesus calls us to follow him, just like he did 2000 years ago with his first disciples. So as we listen to the gospel and reflect on what it means in our lives today, think about how Jesus has called you to follow him. Let's get started. Today, we hear about how Jesus called his disciples to follow him. They left what they were doing and went with him right away. Let's think about how we can follow Jesus in our lives today. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you call us all to follow you. Help us to answer that call each and every day and live our lives as you have asked us to. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John was arrested, Jesus went to Galilee and told the good news that comes from God. He said, the time has come. God's kingdom will soon be here. Turn back to God and believe the good news. As Jesus was walking along the shore of Lake Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew. They were fishermen and were casting their nets into the lake. Jesus said to them, Come with and follow me. I will teach you how to bring in people instead of fish. Right then, the two brothers dropped their nets and went with him. Jesus walked on and saw James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were in a boat mending their nets. At once, Jesus asked them to come with him. They left their father in the boat with the hired workers and went with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Notice how when Jesus called Simon and Andrew, as well as James and John, they dropped everything to follow Jesus. What do you think about that? Do you think it was an easy decision to follow Jesus immediately? Take a moment and pause the video here and talk about that amongst yourselves. What do you think it was like for them to just drop their nets and follow Jesus without even a second thought? Well, I think, you know, when we look back at the people in the Gospels, you know, that was 2,000 years ago. So that was a long time ago. So I think in that time, it was probably very easy to just drop everything and follow Jesus. Plus, I think Jesus was probably, you know, like a good speaker and people were attracted to what he was saying and they wanted to hear more about what Jesus was sharing. Now, what do you think it looks like to follow Jesus today? What do you need to drop or change to follow Jesus more closely? Something for you to think about and talk about with your family. How will you follow Jesus this week? That's the good news of today's gospel. So this is where we state what we believe. And today's gospel was relatively simple. Jesus calls us to follow him. 
So what do you believe about that? So to each question, firmly state, I do. Do you believe in God who wants us to make good choices? I do. Do you believe in Jesus who tells us the good news of God's kingdom? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who helps us to be followers of Jesus? I do. Be sure to live that in your word and in your action this week. With confidence that God hears all the prayers of our heart, let us pray. Let us pray for the church and its leaders and members. May we follow Jesus' example and serve all who walk in the kingdom of God. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world and its leaders. May they join together with others across the world to help one another, especially those who are poor. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our family members, our neighbors, our friends, all who are near and far. May we follow Jesus by sharing what we have with those who do not have enough. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each one of us that we may stand up for what we believe in and follow Jesus' call. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us close our reflection with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy today's reflection. And so this week, think about ways that you can follow Jesus more closely and ways that you can become a fisher of other people, men and women, boys and girls, all those individuals who cross your path this week. Thank you so much. God bless you. Peace be with you. See you next time.